Welcome art lovers to Art Gallery Explorer, the vlog that takes you inside art galleries and exhibition spaces across London, the South East and beyond. The videos usually go like this. We introduce the show, have a look inside and pick out some highlights before reviewing the show, especially the good, the bad and the beautiful. And I'll give it a rating out of 10 to decide whether I recommend that you should come and visit this exhibition or not. I'm really excited specifically to be taking you inside Tate Britain's new blockbuster exhibition. Now you see us, Women Artists in Britain, 1520 to 1920. Um, many of my favourite contemporary and modern artists like Cornelia Parker, Bridget Riley are women artists. But when you, when you travel around uh, our national collections going back in time, it's very, very clear very quickly that women are often conspicuous by their absence. And this show, I've been led to believe, intends to rectify that by putting women front and centre of our art history and hopefully getting us to reevaluate the canon, that sort of official story of art, if you like. I'm particularly excited about the date range from 1520, which is really early in our country's sort of art history. There's not much from earlier than that around generally, and all the way through to 1920, when many more familiar artists that I've already covered on the blog, like Gwen John, come into the scene. So anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing what this show's like. It's going to be big, there's well over 100 works, so I won't show everything, obviously, but I'll bring you some highlights, and then we'll talk about whether it's a good show or not. So come and join me as we head inside. If you're going to this show, you might well want to skip ahead to my review so you can enjoy these works with your own eyes. And I very much hope if you can get here, you do go. If you're not going, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. I'm not going to narrate it, but I'm going to put some music on. And as always, because I get quite a few comments about this, if you don't like the music, mute it and put your own choice on or maybe none at all. Anyway, enjoy this epic show.
Well, I've hotfooted across uh, London from Tate Britain um, to go to another show at the Serpentine, but um, I, I wanted to really sort of think about um, the show I've just seen, and I hope you enjoyed looking in Now You See Us, um, Women Artists in Britain, 1520 to 1920, and it was a fantastic show, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I thought that there was so much that I learnt about it, and in these new style of vlogs, I'm looking at the good, the bad, and the beautiful in each show. The beautiful being the one work that I would like to take away with me if I could and hang on my wall. And so if we start with the good, um, I thought that the curatorial information which was attached to each work was some of the best that I've seen in the last couple of years um, at an art show in London. Um, Tate can sometimes be um, a bit too political when it comes to its information, trying to shoehorn today's concerns into, into the past, but that wasn't the case with this at all. Um, there were so many artists that I hadn't heard of and such a wide time span from 15 1920s through to the 1920s that the information was absolutely essential and it did a really good job it was clear it was concise and it gave information about the artist the the way they were practicing the environment they were practicing in and about the work as well so it was such a highlight and it obviously allowed you to understand and celebrate this broad range of work when I think about the bad, there was nothing terrible about this exhibition at all. The only thing I would say is there was a slight tension between showing off great art and attempting to show a chronological social history of, um, of women painters. There was lots of outstanding work in this show, but sometimes, because it, the, the part of the point of the show was to also show um, a chronological range of women practicing in Britain, not all of the work stood up to the same standard. So there was a slight tension between this being an, a show of great art and a really interesting social history show. But that didn't really spoil it for me, that split, splitting hairs. There's loads of work here, I suppose I'm saying. Not all of it is outstanding in it for its own merit, but it is all really important for the social history, and a lot of it is outstanding for its own merit. I hope that makes sense. What about the beautiful? Well, there were so many pictures that I could have chosen, but this one by Gentileschi, self-portrait as an allegory of painting, was the third think painting I saw in the exhibition. And there's just something really heroic about it. A woman painting as her job, commissioned by the king in 1639. And, um, and it was a theme of the show, so it summed up the show for me. There was a tremendous amount of heroism. All of these painters had to overcome massive barriers purely because they were women. And it left me thinking, um, how many great potential turners, constables, have we lost because it was so hard for women to make a living from painting? And so all of these paintings, in some way, had a heroic nature to their production because the show focused on women who were making a career out of painting and that was really this this painting for me which you can see again here I'll pop it up again really sum that up overall it was an excellent show it definitely changed my perception of um, British art and, and the canon so to speak um, and I really recommend it I think 20 pounds is good value it's a big exhibition I took spent about two and a half hours in there I think um, and so it is a sort of afternoon or morning job um, to go around and see all the works and really digest those fantastic the fantastic curatorial context and information um, it's it's on until the 13th of October so do get down to Tate Britain if you're in London to have your understanding of the UK Arts Canon expanded and then um, don't forget to subscribe to Art Gallery Explorer and um, for lots and lots of new shows coming up from London the southeast of England and beyond thank you very much for watching